afternoon everyone back with another video and today we are going to be sorting out the damaged 500 where someone drove into me I've got the parts and we just need to uh, sort it out so new bumper sort all of this out and new headlight so let's let's get it sorted so a bit of background history on this one as you know woke up to see this damage on here my initial reaction was i thought it was the um, bin lorry because i'd heard it in the morning but um it, it wasn't because they've uh, done the investigation and they say that their bin lorry went nowhere near it on the cameras and um, the driver in fact apparently noticed it so yeah um, where am I at? well nowhere this is basically uh, cost me I'm going to have to replace all the parts I'm going to have no idea who did it or why they did it um, how they managed to even reverse into it in the first place I've got no idea because the car wasn't in a particularly dangerous position and um, yeah it's like some things hit scraped up there and then pushed all of that in and I'm hoping I'm hoping it's not really done any other damage but as you can see it's slightly moved this and now we've got a gap under here so I'm really hoping that it hasn't moved the leg because these bonnets are just notoriously difficult that if if things aren't set right from the factory to get them exactly aligned is an absolute pain in the pain in the arse so anyway gonna unbolt the bumper so we can get to the bolt in here um, then we can get that out we can get this off and then I think we'll sand this back because this is just as you can see it's just flaked off paint um, a bit strange actually because you'd suggest that this maybe isn't in the original color slash not the original because that is it's just it's just chipped just chipped off and it's left that colour there so anyway yeah um, however looking at that that's quite a I might I'll just have to sand it back and see what we can do, we might have to do a bit of tiny filling to get it just looking a bit more even but yeah, anyway let's uh, start on doing bolt here a couple of bolts under there and then on there and then we can pull that back and then get to get to the bolt and hopefully we can rescue the car And this is the second hand headlight, which I've sanded back so I can get rid of that annoying yellow sort of tint to it. So I'm gonna sand, well, already have sanded that back and then I'm gonna DA polish it and get it back up to looking clean. Um, prices of these, if you can get really, really good ones and they're really expensive. So uh, I think that was 35 delivered something like that so yeah let's just get that sanded well why do I keep saying sanded let's get that polished I 
because of the really, 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 really cold weather. Um, a bit naive of me to think that potentially could get a good job on it. So, um, no. Bump had to come off and, as you can see, though, ignore the dirt marks there because I've just been putting my hands on it. Um, sprayed it indoors last night and lacquered it as well and uh, that's the result of it so it's not too bad actually so that's the painting done now the bumper can go back on Right, as you can imagine, when you see a hit to the bonnet from working on these, you're never 100% sure on exactly what damage has been done. And the reason that I say that is not because of the state of the bonnet, but actually what it does to the hinge. And it can move the hinge backwards, bend it either way, and, and it can totally mess up your alignment. So in this case, I've just tried to put on the new bonnet and sure enough, it now doesn't line up as well as it should do. And uh, unfortunately, it's not a case of just adjusting it when it's all in and just not, you know, tightening or untightening the nuts and just moving the bonnet itself this hinge appears to have slightly moved so i think in order we've looked at it and the only real way to get around it partly is to move the hinge forward but we can't really do that so we're gonna try and cut into this a bit more just to give us a bit more leeway on the bolts um to try and force the uh, bumper forward that's bun bumper the bonnet forward should i say and then hopefully we can then allow just a tiny bit more movement in in what we can do but i think yeah this has been hit Hello everyone, 27th of December. I'm not going to say Happy Christmas because I um, don't know when this is going out because I'm stacking videos. Anyway, um, so 27th, slight, I say slight rush on. I'll explain um, a few little, a few stories that I've had. So just prior to Christmas, we'll start on this one. Just, no, we'll start on this one. Just prior to Christmas, put this up for sale, had an inquiry from a prospective buyer. She 
made an inquiry about it sounded quite interested um obviously this is up for three thousand because I'm not overly interested in uh, it's cat s so I'm not overly interested in making massive amount of money from it and um very good price for a 50 odd thousand mile cat s 2015 lounge at three grand i think that's very good she said is there any movement and i said look if it kind of goes by around christmas time i'll knock off a hundred so she said yeah okay i'll come and visit it next thing i know about a day or so later no is it a day her, her messages weren't weren't great it wasn't a to and throw over the day it was like over a couple of days she then says um just can't remember now she says something like oh that's probably a bit too much or i'll come and see it and it was all arranged then all of a sudden she's like no i can't i, I can't do it can you go any lower um, she then asks to meet me at 2.7 and I say, I'll tell you what, I won't do that. I'll do like 2.8.50 or something like that and knock another 50 off. She then says, oh, I'll go and speak to my parents. Then comes back and then actually says, no, the maximum I could do is 2.600. It's my first car. And it's like, oh, well, why didn't you say that in the first place kind of thing? Um or why did you seem to bid more or ask for more but then come right back down whether or not she was playing me I don't really know but either way I said no I'm not going to do that sorry uh, it, it's worth more than that and um, yeah then I then said I tell you what I've got this 2012 pop not been in an accident and that will fit your budget to a T kind of thing she's now said okay i will come over and i will look and so she's due over within the next hour she lives apparently about half hour away to look at this one my hope is when she gets here she'll look at that one and decide actually that she can somehow find the money the extra 250 quid to get that one that's the hope so in the meantime, I've got to get this all cleaned up, ready for a potential viewing, and um, just sort out um, this little scratch that was on the side down on the bonnet, which I've already sanded back. I painted, sanded it back, and now I've just got to give this car once over, and then I'll put a DA polisher on it. So, yeah, we'll see how we get on today. Not ideally the best time to do it. The weather forecast for today is... Uh, shocking uh, have, like medium sort of rain from about uh, from the time she sort of arrives so that's not great but anyway we'll see how we get on um, let's just get this cleaned and then uh, we'll come back and talk about our experience a bit later on I guess right little update so the dad and mother have brought their daughter along and both mum and dad went for a test drive in this with daughter before they went for a test drive i asked them and explained about what they knew about 500s and uh, they didn't really know much so obviously i explained this was a pop and that was a lounge now they've gone for a test drive and I thought they might do they've now decided that they wanted to actually take the black one for a drive probably because I've explained to them that there's a lot more to it and for the extra I think 300 that I'm charging on the black one I think they're now going to come up with the money because they they took that black one for a drive and I think they're going to bin the blue one off for and find the extra cash for the black one but anyway maybe they might not take either we don't know because they've gone to change the baby's nappy or for those americans diaper um so they've gone off to have a little chat about the cars and to do that so maybe might not get the sale at all but 
it seems like they're more going towards the black lounge at the moment so we shall see what happens right we are a couple of days after and uh, I'm recording this as you can see it's the uh, purple 500 because the story ended up being that uh, they spent four hours with me deciding that they didn't want this one and they wanted the black one in the end despite not having the funds and they spent four hours trying to get the funds together by contacting various people to buy the car and they decided on the black one which I kind of thought they would I just didn't know if they'd have the money for it but ultimately we are now left just with the um, with the purple one so yeah so that's the end of that story the black one has gone the cat s black 2015 has gone and i'm now left with this one so yeah um i'm at the moment i'm just taking it to work because i just want to make sure that it is all good and it runs as it should do and uh yeah so that brings us to the end of today's video It'll be the last one of 2023 so um I wish you all a happy new year and hope that this year has been kind to you and uh, I'll see you all in 2024. So if you haven't already seen my post on Christmas Day, thank you all for subscribing and uh, getting over the thousand and uh, yeah, hopefully um, catch up with you all again in the new year. Until next time, thank you very much and goodbye.